Hi everyone, today I am here to bring you an intermediate Pilates tower flow. As far as equipment goes for this workout, you can use a tower, a springboard, or a Cadillac to complete it. If you're using a springboard, you'll want a mat set up in front of it. As far as the springs go today, we are going to keep it very simple. We're gonna use two short yellow springs with handles and two long purple springs with loops. That is it. As always, please remember to modify as necessary during this workout. Adjust your spring level to suit the piece of equipment that you are working on. When you're ready, gather those springs because this workout starts now. All right guys, so I am all set up. I have my short yellow springs with handles attached to the number nine on my springboard. That's approximately head height. And I have my long purple springs with loops attached to the number five on my springboard. And that's about standing hip height. We are gonna start seated today. So come on down to the mat. Facing in towards the tower, you're gonna grab onto your handles and scoot your body back so you're about a leg's distance, a little bit more than a leg's distance away. Find your sit bones, sit up nice and tall, and feel free to soften those knees for tight hamstrings. From here, I just want you to lengthen through the crown of the head, reach your sit bones down towards the floor, and soften the front of the ribs. Inhale as you pull the elbows back, coming into a bit of back extension, and exhale, bring those arms forward. And again, inhale, opening the heart up towards the ceiling, pulling those elbows towards the ribs, and exhale, bringing the arms forward. Let's do three more here, big breaths. And two. And last time, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, bring those arms forward. Start to scoop your tailbone under and roll the spine all the way down to the mat. Lengthen the crown of the head down towards the floor. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin to the chest, sit up all the way. Stack your spine once you are on top of those sit bones. Inhale and pull those elbows back, coming into back extension. As you release the arms, tuck the tailbone under, roll the spine down. Lengthening your back onto the mat, opening up the collarbones. Inhale and then exhale, tuck the tailbone under, roll the spine all the way up to seated. When you get to the top, come into back extension. Let's do two more just like that, rolling it down lengthening vertebra by vertebra, rolling it up, inhaling into extension. Last time, and we're just gonna stay down on the mat here, so roll the spine down, reaching your toes away from your crown, turn the palms down, take a breath, inhale, and exhale, press those palms towards the floor, and lift, and towards the floor, and lift. So nice long elbows, pressing from the backs of the armpits. Let's do five. Keep those front of the ribs nice and heavy, connected to the hips. Last two. And one, small change from the shoulder, externally rotate. Palms are facing up. Soften the front of the ribs again if they've risen up. From here, press the backs of the palms down towards the floor and lift. Exhale and inhale. Little soft bend in the elbows here, but not too much. The last four. The last two. And one. Turn the palms down again, pull the elbows out nice and wide, hands come tart towards the armpits, and release, and pull, and release. Resist that spring tension as you return the arms to a long position. Last four, three, two, 
and one. Lengthen the arms, slide one foot in, slide the other foot in so your knees are pointing up to the ceiling. From here, turn your palms to face each other, roll the spine all the way up to seated. Sit up tall in the sit bones, and this time roll halfway back, tucking the tailbone under. Your knees are pointing up to the ceiling, your toes are pointing forward, your hips are nice and stable. Scoop out the belly nice and deeply, and when you're ready, exhale and pull one elbow back, rotating through the spine. Inhale back center, exhale the other elbow back. So if you can tap the mat there, do. If not, that's okay. You can reach the other arm in opposition to assist your rotation. Let's do four more here. Last two. And one. Nice job. Roll it all the way up. Release one of your handles here. <clears throat> Bring those knees to point back up to the ceiling. Bring your free hand across your belly. Palm is facing down for not now. Anchor your shoulder blade back onto your back. Take a breath, inhale. Exhale, roll the spine all the way down the center of your spine. And roll the spine all the way back up. Let's do three more here. The last two. And one more time, roll all the way down. And then roll halfway up. Tuck the tailbone under, scoop out the belly, reach both arms forward. From here, again, knees are pointing straight forward, so are the feet. Rotate through the spine, maybe the elbow drops back towards the floor and come center. Let's do three more like this, and then we'll add a knee lift. The last one. And then float the same knee as the arm that's pulling. The last four. Your opposite side of the pelvis is weighted. Three, two, and one, release that forward, sit all the way up. Grab your other handle, shake out your hands. Sometimes the grip can get tired. All right, knees back up to the ceiling, hand across the belly, anchor through the shoulder blade. Tuck and roll down the center of your spine and roll it up. Find your full range of motion. So all the way down, let the head rest for a moment, and then all the way up. All right, last time through, we're gonna go all the way down and then halfway up, tucking the tailbone under, finding that scooped belly, other hand floats forward, rotate and pull that strap. I'm imagining my other hand has the spring. So as the elbow pulls back, I am slightly reaching that hand forward to aid in my rotation. Last two, last one. Option to float the knee, keep going. Last three, last two, and one. Roll all the way up, release that strap. Reach your hands forward of your knees this time. Let's do a few roll-ups without any assistance. So tuck the tail under, roll the spine down, arms over the head, inhale, exhale, chin to the chest, hands reach forward, peel the spine back up, collarbones stay wide. Let's do three more. The last two. One more time, we're gonna stay down at the bottom. Bring your left knee into a tabletop position. Hands behind the head, elbows wide. Exhale and rotate towards that side. Inhale, lower down through the middle. Exhale and inhale. Now find, so for rotating to the left, you are <clears throat> reaching your right ribs towards your left hip. If you're rotating to the right, you're doing the opposite. Let's do four more here. 
three. Exhale, two. And one, now find that rotation and stay there. Anchor the head into the hands. Now we're gonna lift our flat foot up and down. And up and down. Try not to lose that lift of the torso. You've got three, two, and one. Take that knee that was lifting and extend it long. Marry your foot into your calf. Now you're in rotation here. We're gonna lower and lift the shape of those legs. So this is like a flamingo position, we'll call it. Okay, four more, three more, and one. Come center, hug the knees in for a moment. Come back with your opposite knee in tabletop. Hands behind the head to exhale and rotate towards that lifted knee and inhale back through the middle. Let's do four. Stay in rotation on this one. That foot that's on the ground lifts and lowers from your oblique, lift and lower. Last four and three. Fight for that rotation, two and one. That same leg is extending. Glue yourself into your flamingo position. Lower and lift the legs. Last three. The more pressure you put in between your foot and your calf, the more intense this can feel. Last two and one. Good, lower your head down. Rest your arms down by your sides. Bring your heels in nice and close to your glutes. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under and roll the spine up into a bridge. Inhale, reach the arms back behind you. With the arms back on the floor, roll the spine down from your upper back, mid back, low back, tailbone, release the arms down. Tuck the tailbone under, roll the spine up into your bridge. Float the arms all the way back down onto the floor behind you. Reach through the fingertips, roll through your upper back, mid back, low back, tailbone. Let's do two more like that. Your pace, tailbone under to rise the hips. Float the arms, roll. Last round. And all the way down to the mat. Reach those hands forward. I'm gonna walk my feet a little further away from me so I have space, and we're gonna roll the spine all the way up. Now you can feel your abdominals. All right, let's come to standing. So I'm gonna cross my ankles and just come all the way up. You're gonna grab onto your handles. <clears throat> Take a good step back from the tower so that your arms are fairly straight. My um, springs attach just a little bit above the shoulder, okay, just as a reference. Feet sit bone distance apart. Let's float the heels up as we bring the arms towards the pelvis and then bring the arms forward as you lower your heels. Press and lower. Press and lower. Think about reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Nice, four more here. The last two. And one more time. Ooh, falling over. Okay, so from here, keep the arms forward, but hover the heels just a little bit. We're gonna sit down into a wall squat, so your head is above your shoulders, your shoulders are above your hips, you're coming down as low as you can, it does not have to be this low, and then you're gonna press yourself all the way back up. So find a depth of the knees that feels appropriate. Knees are pointing straight forward, and then lift, and down and lift. Let's do four more like this. Three. Whoop. 
Last time. Come up, keep the legs straight for a moment, turn the palms to face each other, pull the elbows back. Let's do that again, down and up. Navigate, navigate the tension of the spring. It can feel helpful, but it can kind of also throw you off balance. So, concentrate, find a place on your tower or wall in front of you to gaze at. Last two. On this last one, we're coming all the way down and halfway up. All the way down and halfway up. Pulse up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. Eight, seven, six. I wish I was counting faster. Good. Last four, three, two, and one. Straighten the legs, lower the heels, shake out those legs. Turn the palms down again, extend the arms. Heels together, toes apart. Hover the heels, keep the arms forward. Slide down that wall, you're in Pilates V. And press up. And down. And up, squeezing the heels together. You choose the depth. Last three. One more time. Pull the elbows back. Hold the elbows back. Soften the ribs. Down and up. Heels are still in space. Three. Two. Here we go, one, all the way down, halfway up. Up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, eight, seven, six. Steady gaze, four, three, two, and one. Straighten those legs, shake them off. Bring your heels wider. So you're in a wide second position. Heels in, toes externally rotated. Arms forward, sink down and up. Adjust your heels a distance that when you come down into your lowest position, the heels can be close to under the knees. Okay, so wider maybe than you think. Last four. Last two. Slightly different variation on this round. Stand up, lift the heels, full range here. Still arms long. Keep those heels lifted. Four, three, two, one. Pull the elbows back. Come down to your low point and just lower and lift the heels. Eight, seven, six, Steady, four, three, heels stay lifted, down an inch, up an inch, last round, eight, seven, tailbone towards the floor, last four, little lower, three, two, and one, Whew. stand up, walk those feet in, shake it off, turn around, and face away from the tower, grab onto your handles. Step one foot forward. You're in control of how much tension you have on those springs, so walk away if you need more tension. Walk in if you need less. Whatever foot is forward, the opposite hand is punching and controlling back. Challenge yourself here. We're not here for all that long. Body stays still in space. Shoulders are staying square towards the wall in front of you. The last four. The last one, hands towards the shoulders, switch out your feet, other arm. Five, four, the last two, and one. 
both feet back, extend both arms, bend and press, bend and press, lean into the wind, close the front of the ribs to the hips, you're in a plank, you can be in Pilates V here or parallel feet, whatever feels most natural, four, three, two, both arms forward, both arms in, control it out, and in, Can you lean more? Five, four, three, two, and one. Stand all the way up, careful. Bring your elbows in so that they are in front of the shoulders. Step one foot back. From here, the same arm as the leg that's back is going to reach forward in front of the shoulder. So the elbow stays steady, upper arm stays steady. We just have this tricep press. You're leaning in. Now your other arm has a little bit of static tension on it. Last four here, three, and one, bend that elbow, switch out your feet, keep that little bit of tension. Extend your other arm for eight, seven. Last four. Last two and one, both feet back, both arms extended. Bend one elbow, press, other elbow, press. Four. Three, two, and one. Challenge yourself, step a quarter of an inch forward, both arms long, bend both elbows, straighten both elbows. Elbows stay high. Four, three, two, and one. Stand up, release, beautiful. Turn around, grab onto your handles again. Go back to your arms distance length. Bring your feet to the center of your mat. Shift your weight into your left foot. Float your right knee up towards your chest. Pull the elbows back and come into back extension, just like we did in the beginning on the mat. Now you're gonna reach your arms forward. Soft bend in your standing leg. Press that leg to the back of the room and give me a little press back with long arms. Come on back up. Knee in front of the hip, elbows back, back extension. Reach the leg back, pull the arms down, chest expansion. Let's do three more. Pull, balance, stretch. Pull, balance, stretch. Last time. Now come on up and pull. Stack your spine, extend that lifted knee forward. Flex the foot, little lifts up for eight. Hips are square, six, four, three, two, and one. Bring that strap down. You can take off, actually, you know what? Leave your yellow handles up for a little bit longer. Let's come on down to the floor. Head down towards the tower. Arms distance away. Your purple long strap should be hooked up to number five or hip height standing. Place your loops onto your feet. <clears throat> arms down by the sides if possible, arms up if you feel like you're sliding. Let's bring our legs parallel to one another. Make sure you're at the center of your mat. I'm going to separate my feet about a quarter of an inch and keep them separated a quarter of an inch. Tailbone heavy, ribs heavy, lower the legs. Lift the legs. Slow and steady here. I'm gonna go palms up just because I tend to brace through my shoulders. And this reminds me not to do that. You can have your hands down though. Keep some tension on your spring no matter where you are in your movement. Let's do four more. Three. Work from the glutes and the hamstrings. Two. And one. 
Bring your legs back up. Keep a small distance between the heels, but externally rotate your legs from the hips and bring the legs down and up. The last four. The last two. And one, bring your legs halfway down. Soften the knees so that you have a diamond shape between your legs. Your heels are just a quarter of an inch apart. Bring one leg down, working from the outer hip. Bring that leg up to meet the other leg. Bring the other leg down and up. Pelvis is equally weighted. At some point, if you want to take your hands onto your pelvis, fingertips on the pubic bone, heels of the hands on the hip bones, and just make sure that that shape you're making is parallel to the floor. That's a good indication of whether you're in a neutral pelvis. Last four, three, two, and one, now glue your heels together, you're still in that diamond shape, lower both feet down, lift both feet up. We'll add on from here. So on the next time you bring the legs down towards the floor, extend them long, lift them up, bend back into your diamond, lower your diamond down, stretch your legs long, lift them up, bend back into your diamond like a little scoopy circle. And I'm keeping a large amount of tension on my springs no matter where I am. So the circle or the oval shape is fairly low to the floor. Last three. And one. And now reverse it. Scooping the heels towards the pubic bone and then circling them out and around last three and one parallel off the feet bring one heel all the way down to the floor and keep it anchored there lift the other leg halfway up let's circle that top leg around now the bottom heel may want to slide I want you to anchor it down using the glute and the hamstring to keep it attached to the floor. That standing knee, that floor knee is pointing directly up to the ceiling. Last three, two, one. Reverse that circle. Three, two, one. Switch sides. Circle. Four, Three, two, one, reverse it. Four, three, two, one more exercise to go. Feet low, flutter those feet up towards the ceiling and down towards the floor. Inner thighs sliding past one another. Feet are just a quarter distance of an inch distance apart. Four, three, two, and one. Slowly bring those knees in. Bend your knees out to the sides. Reach up for your straps or your clips. Give yourself a little inner thigh stretch here, pulling down. And then come on up. <laughs> we are going to do one spring change today. And all that means is I'm going to take my long purple springs and hang them a little bit higher. The goal is for the end of the loop to hover off the floor, okay? My loop is hovering about six inches. Anywhere from three to six inches off the floor is appropriate. <clears throat> and then we're laying down with our feet in our straps, feet facing the tower lowering the body down onto the floor. 
Now I want your springs kind of pulled out away from the wall a little bit, and your heels are gonna be sit bone distance apart with the toes pointing straight forward. And here we're gonna keep the feet on the floor as we tuck the tailbone under and roll the pelvis up into a bridge. Arms reach back, roll the spine all the way down, arms reach forward. Tuck the tail, ooh, keep those feet still. Tuck the tailbone under, roll the hips up. Reach the arms back, roll the spine down, bring the arms down. Let's do two more. Tuck and roll, lift, roll, lower last time. Roll, lower, keep the arms down, keep the hips down. Do a little march through the feet, keeping the pelvis weighted. One foot comes up a few inches than the other, controlling the springs for four, three, two, one. Roll the pelvis up, keep the hips high, march through the legs for eight, seven. Land those heels close to the glutes. Last four, three, two. Both heels anchored down, lift the pelvis even higher. Hold here for a few breaths reaching the kneecaps forward, engaging the underside of the glutes. Hold for four, three, two, and one. Roll the spine all the way down. Bring your feet forward so you have more space behind your knees. Inhale your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, roll your spine. I'm cheating all the way up. And take off those straps. Don't cheat like I did. All right, grab your handles for one last little series, maybe two. So we're gonna scooch back a little bit. Grab onto your handles. This time around, we're gonna tuck the tailbone under. You're gonna come about halfway down. Make sure you're centered. You're seated behind your sit bones. Now we're gonna bring one knee into tabletop and then the other knee into tabletop and find balance. Now, I want you to see if you can tap one toe forward and then the other while maintaining your scooped abdominals. So a lot of times the tendency, at least for me, is to go into back extension. I really wanna fight against that and stay rounded. Good, six, five, four, last two, both knees up, pull the elbows back and return, pull and return, four, three, two, and one, long arms, roll the spine down, stay in upper body flexion, extend one leg forward at a time. Keep that low back attached to the mat, eight, seven, six, last four, last two, and one. Lift one leg up to the ceiling, extend the other leg down to the floor, lower your head for a brief moment. Turn your palms down, let's circle the top leg around, keeping the hips stable for four, three, two, reverse, six, five small circles, because you have to avoid those springs, three, two, and one. Keep that leg up to the ceiling, roll your spine up, roll your spine down. Three more on this side. Last time, roll it down, switch legs, head down, circle. Six, five, three, Reverse, three, roll up, roll down. Articulating that spine, especially on the way down, tailbone under, low back, mid back, upper back, shoulders. Last two, and one. Okay, bend both knees, roll your spine up into that halfway up shape, pull your knees into your chest, and then lower the upper back down a bit as you extend the legs forward and then pull everything in again. So similar 
to double leg stretch, kind of a variation of that. Keep that tailbone tucked for three, two, one. Knees up, find your balance, extend your legs, roll back to the shoulders, roll up, find balance. Roll back to the shoulders, roll up, find balance. Last three, two, and one. Roll up and rest those feet. Ooh. Okay, release one of your straps. Hold on to one, lay down on your side. <clears throat> You're lined up with the, where the spring attaches to the tower here. Hover the feet. Line yourself at one long line, okay? Lift and lower your top leg. Find the balance on the side of the hip. Sometimes it's helpful to have an extra cushion underneath your hip. <clears throat> if you're feeling any discomfort there, four, three, two, hold the top leg up, bottom leg lifts up to meet it as best you can, four, three, two, hold both legs up, scissor, scissor. Now my hand is behind my head, but you could also have your head down on your upper arm. Last three, two, one, both feet on top of another. Here's a little challenge. Let's see if we can rotate onto the pelvis and come up into a kind of twisted, lifted teaser position and then roll back down onto the side of the hip. And again, bend the knees as you tip back onto the back of the pelvis, pull your knees into your chest and then open the body back up to the side. I'm gonna add an elbow pull. You do not have to add the elbow pull. Last two. And one more. Roll it down. And release it up. Same thing, other side. Here we go. So you're lining yourself up with your spring. Full legs distance away. One long line through the body. Hover both feet. Lift and lower your top leg. Feeling way less balanced on this side. Last three. Two. Hold your top leg up. Lift your bottom leg up to meet the top leg. Use that upper inner thigh for four, three, two, both legs stay up, scissor, scissor. Three, two, one, stack the feet, here we go. Roll back onto your hip. Bend the knees and come up and then roll back onto your side. Extend the legs, lengthen through the torso. And again. Last two. I'm gonna add the elbow pull after this one and then do three more. All right, here comes that elbow pull option. For me, I feel almost that it's helpful to aid me in lifting. One more time. And down. And sit up. And release that strap. Face towards your tower. Even weight on the sit bones. Inhale the arms up over the head. Exhale, dive forward over your feet. Relax the feet. Grab onto your ankles or your calves and stretch. Let that breath go. Roll it all the way up. 
Flex the feet, inhale the arms up overhead, dive forward over the feet, keep the feet flexed. Let that breath go. Sit all the way up, turn sideways on your mat, bring one hand down outside the pelvis, lean over, rotate towards the knee, open the chest and come back center, other side, over, rotate towards the knee, open the chest and come over, inhale the arms up, exhale the arms down, one more time, inhale the arms up and exhale the arms down. And you guys are all done. Thank you so much for joining me for that tower class. I hope you enjoyed it. Please um, let me know what you thought in the comments as well. Please subscribe and share and I will see you again soon. Bye guys.